We're very excited about using the tools of artificial intelligence to improve the performance of mammography for our patients. It's amazing when we realize that mammography has actually been around since before the 1950s. We were using it for screening for early breast cancer detection before those cancers could be felt by either the woman or her doctor. And we found that in doing those trials way back in the 1960s and early 1970s, that we could actually save lives by detecting breast cancer early with mammography. When I look back at those images, I'm amazed that we could see anything. The technology has improved so much. We now have all digital mammograms. We have 3D mammograms that take thin slices through the breast tissue. The technology has rapidly improved, but our human ability to extract information from those images has been pretty steady. We do a lot of training, a lot of education to bring people to a higher level of performance, but um, the human eye and the human brain has limitations when that much data is presented. So it used to be that we would go through a thousand mammograms and find five or six women with cancer. And that was a really good thing. But we now, for that mammogram that we're looking at, we literally, rather than a thousand exams, we're looking at hundreds of thousands of images in the modern era of digital 3D mammography. So we need these tools, these fast computers, these tools of AI to help us extract all the data that we can now acquire, but we can't process and interpret. So we're excited because we now have tools that help humans take advantage of this vast amount of data that's acquired from every woman every time she gets a mammogram. And why do we wanna do that? What will we use that for? The mammogram can provide two very specific pieces of information for us. Does this woman have cancer now? Is there a cancer that is evident on that mammogram that needs to be biopsied, diagnosed, confirmed, and treated? But the second question we can ask for the mammogram is, will this woman develop cancer in the future? And that's an area that we have barely scratched the surface on to date. So um, it was really not that long ago at all that investigators started to notice that women with dense breast tissue are more likely to develop breast cancer than women with fatty breast tissue. That was one clue that the mammogram can tell us something about the woman's future risk, not just does she have cancer now. But what a, what a crude um, approach to take, just dense, yes or no. Turns out also that humans aren't very good at assessing whether a particular mammogram is dense or not. And there's a lot of variation when humans try to perform that task. So we first start with the question that we're more familiar with, is there cancer now on the mammogram? That's a little bit like traditional methods of using computed aided detection or CAD. And we've been doing that for a long time in mammography. So that's just help us identify those mammograms with cancer and separate them out from those without cancer. And the AI tools are really strong in this domain. The second question is one that I'm really, really excited about. What about the future? How can we go beyond density? And that's where we're finding with the power of the tools of AI, we can extract data to tell us something about that woman's future risk. It sort of makes sense that this works because as a mammographer, I can look at a mammogram and tell a lot about a woman's story. I can tell if she's gained weight or lost weight. And we know there's risk factor data in that, that element alone. I can tell whether or not she's had prior biopsies or surgeries, if she has a personal history of breast cancer. The density isn't just a yes, no, but actually the complexity of the patterns of the tissue. There's some very chaotic patterns that always give us pause, always make us a little bit uncomfortable about that woman's breast tissue. And then there are other dense patterns that are very organized and uniform. And it goes way back again to 1960, a terrific radiologist, John Wolfe, who had observed this when he was reading mammograms and wrote about it um, you know, well over 50 years ago. So, um, so those are the two domains that we're doing our active research in and where I really think we're gonna be able to see the advances for our patient care using these tools of AI.